Today on our 2015 GMC Acadia, we're going to show you how to install the T1 vehicle wiring harness for the factory tow package. This offers a seven-way trailer connector. Part number is 118271. To help us out with our install, we're also going to be using part number PK12711U-26. That's the Pollock mounting bracket and installation hardware. Now this is what our wiring kit's going to look like. As you can see, we've got our connector right here. This is going to plug directly into the factory connector under our vehicle. That's going to run to a standard style automotive plug. That then plugs into the back of our seven-way plug. Now you'll see we've got nice heavy-duty spring there that allows our door to open but holds it closed nicely when not in use. Inside of the door, we're going to have our rubber gasket. It's going to keep all those elements out, so we're not going to have to worry about dirt and moisture getting inside. You'll see the small catch right here. Once our plug is slid into place, that's designed to hold it, so we don't have to worry about any accidental disconnections. Also, we're going to have a few wire ties and instructions, as well as the fuses and relays that we'll need to get everything working properly. Now, the Pollock hardware kit that we're going to use is going to offer us a bracket that we can mount our seven-way plug to. It's very important that it has the oval-shaped holes to fit this particular plug. It also has the screws that we're going to need to mount our plug onto our bracket. Now, we're using a draw-tight hitch today. The draw-tight hitch already has a mounting bracket for wiring on it. So all we're going to need in addition to that is just a couple of small screws, washers, lock washers, and nuts, or in our case, just serrated locking nuts. If you're using a Kurt style hitch or another style of hitch that does not have a mounting bracket on it, we would suggest part number 18140. That's the Tow Ready Universal Short Bracket. We're going to begin by attaching our seven way plug to our installation bracket using the hardware supplied with the bracket. We've got one hole on each corner for a total of four and we're just going to use the screw and nut to hold that in position. Now just a flat blade screwdriver and typically just holding your finger on the nut will keep that in place while we get it torqued down. If you need to, you can use just a little wrench or pair of pliers to hold it. Now we're going to take our two pieces of hardware here. These would be like a, a size 10 or a number 10 screw if you're going to use one. We'll go right down through there. Let's get it attached to our hitch. Now we can get our plug put right into the back. You'll see we want the little tab here to line up with that slot. Push that in firmly. We'll hear that little click and then we'll slide in that little gray tab and we should be able to pull on it without it separating. Now let's start routing our wire over. Now I'm using zip ties a little bit longer than what came with the kit here just so I can get all the way around the hitch. So if you've got some of those handy, it'd be a good time to use them or even get some so at least you have them and you're ready. Now to find our factory plug-in, we want to come here to the passenger side. You'll see this is where our exhaust comes out. There's going to be a small gap here between that. If we reach straight up along the outer fender here, it's about, I don't know, maybe 13 inches up inside of the, uh, the frame. Right in here on the side, there's going to be our connector. So we just pull that down. It just has a Christmas tree fastener holding it in place. And there you'll see what we're going to be connecting to. Now we'll just bring our plug up into position, get that slid together until you hear that click, and then we can pop it right back up into the hole we took it out of. Now we can just use a zip tie and 
bundle up any excess wire here. We want to be sure that we pull it pretty tight to that connection point so our wire isn't hanging down on our exhaust. It doesn't get terribly hot here and it is protected with wire loom, but we want to keep it as far away as possible. Now we can grab our snippers and just cut off any excess zip tie there and go get our relays and fuses put in. Now we're going to pop the cover off of our fuse box here. This is underneath the hood. It's over on the passenger side. Just have three tabs to push in. This one's usually the hardest one to get back here. Now we're going to grab the instructions. This is going to be the front page you see. You'll flip that right over. This is going to be the area in which we're going to figure out where our relays are going to go and where our fuses are going to go. So we're going to start with our 10 amp fuses. The first one's going to go right behind this relay. A little open slot right there. The next one, if we come over from that relay, there's going to be two open slots right here. This is F21 and F17. Both of those need a 10 amp. And then we'll go over a row closer to the rear of the vehicle and all the way to the top here. That's going to be our F8. That's going to get a 10 amp. Right, now we can grab our 30 amps. For those, we want to come just a row over from that first 10 amp we installed behind this relay. That's the 10 amp. We're going to be another 10 amp there, and then we'll come straight to the passenger side from there. We're going to have the F30 location and the F34 location. So drop those in. All right, now we're ready to throw the relays in. Got two positions for these. We've got our R16 and our R15. The blades of these should be facing forward and back. You can see the flat sides are facing the driver and passenger side. Go in and get those both pushed into position. All right, throw our cover back on there and we should be ready to test it out. We just align all three of those locking tabs and give it a good push down. We're just going to plug in our tester here. You can also just hook it up to your trailer and go through the lights. We're going to start by checking out our voltmeter or our charge meter. We're going to have 12 volts there, so that works out really well. We're not going to be able to test the trailer brakes. There's just no brake controller on this Acadia, but that signal is now currently hooked up. All right, let's start with our running lights. We'll use our left turn signal, right turn signal, our brakes. Now with everything working properly, that's going to complete our installation of the Tow Ready T1 Vehicle Wiring Harness for factory tow packages, offering the seven-way trailer connector. Part number is 118271 on our 2015 GMC Acadia.